guys in this video i'll show you how to send the data between pages in your ionic 5 app currently i have in a uh, two page app uh, the home page and i click the button on the home page it will go to menu page so you can pass the data between pages in multiple ways uh, based on your requirement so i'll i'll go through them one by one one of the way is to pass it as a id if you want to just uh, simply pass a single number or a single string you can use this method uh, so first you need to go to app routing.module.ts then specify the id you want to use it can be id it can be where or it can be xyz it can be anything it's just a variable then go to your home page dot ts within the navigate function you can put the value of the id let me pass it as a 2 uh, then go to menu dot page dot ts We'll, we can use activated root module from angular router to get the data it's activated root so then you need to pass that into constructor then within a constructor uh, you can get the data you can use this dot activated root dot paramount dot subscribe then data uh, let me just print the data whenever we receive it As you can see here uh, it printed param params map here in the params you can see x y z has to uh, so there is another method you can use instead of this dot activated rule oh, let me create a variable data can be any then I can use data this dot data equal to this dot activated root dot snapshot snapshot dot paramap dot get with a variable name what are the variable name we passed here x y z you need to use that as a key here okay then uh, i'll try to display this in a menu page go to menu page.html i'll put down the h3 so it can be a bit more visible so data yeah as you can see here when i click it it is displaying it here so that is one of the way uh, you can see what are the data you are passing it is adding to the URL so Ionic is trying to get the data displayed here what are the data you passed into the URL you just getting that data and passing it here so if, if you want to pass an object instead of a string uh, there are multiple ways to even to do that also one of the ways to stringify that object so uh, let me just let data to d equal to create an object uh, data mm, sorry it will be like uh, hero i don't know on villain is Thanos. Is he really a villain in the first part? I don't know. Only I guess can get it. 
so uh, we can add this as a json dot stringify so it will just convert that object into string and pass it here so if I reload it here and as you can see here it is saying hero iron man villain and Thanos and same can be shown here is a string of error it makes URL ugly and it's not even a safe method so uh, there is another method to do that but I'm not gonna uh, uh, cover that one but in my next video I'll show the method I generally use to pass the data between pages using a service thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos